In this question, it is given these two blocks capital M small m connected together with this light in extensile well string placed on rough horizontal surface with coefficient of friction mu. A small m block is acted upon a force capital F at angle theta with the horizontal and here it is given both capital F and theta are variable. And here we are interested to find the value of theta for which the least value of capital F required to move the blocks. For analyzing this situation, let us revise concept of angle of friction. Suppose we have this block is placed on rough horizontal surface with coefficient of friction mu. We are interested to move this block by applying least force. Suppose this least force is applied is F minimum. If we apply the force F minimum at angle phi with the horizontal and this phi should be equal to angle of friction, then only we can move this block by applying least force. So phi should be equal to 10 inverse mu. We can observe this angle of friction is independent of mass of the block. Now come to our situation. Suppose this is block A and this is block B. Force is acting on the block A. The tension in the string will be zero until the block A starts moving. For A to move with the least value of the force, this angle theta should be equal to angle of friction. That means this theta should be equal to angle of friction. And we know these two blocks are connected together with the light in extensible string. That means when this will move, this will also move. Both are connected together. That means they will move together always. That means we can take this A block and B block as a system and we can consider force capital F is acting on the system at angle theta. And this angle theta as we discussed that should be equal to angle of friction. That means theta is equal to angle of friction. That means option 1, this option should be the correct option.